Now it's a great day for trading when SPY trades like this. And some of our members had the best trading day of their lives. And in this video, I will show you one indicator that everybody overlooks. But it is the reason why I have so many green days and hardly hardly any red days. And if you use this indicator in your trading, I can guarantee you will improve in the short span of time. Now I am using the one minute chart today and I will use a live trade I took on the 8th of March to show you this indicator. Now this was a trade I took at 9.44 a.m. right here. So I took the trade right here because we see a very strong yellow resistance line that formed the high of day at that point and we saw very strong selling volume immediately with this red candle once the chart hit this yellow resistance line. Now these key levels are all included in the morning's daily brief and they help give us some form of structure to how the chart may possibly behave. And it's very helpful, especially for day traders. So when we see the strong green candles coming in, right off this orange critical support here, and once it touched this yellow resi, we see that the sellers started to come in. So I decided to take puts here, right here, and have my stop loss right above here. And then we see that there is some tussling between buyers and sellers right at this very strong resistance level right here. So it was then that I told members that I'm in puts off the yellow, but because we are seeing so much tussling right here, if we do not hold this yellow resistance for the next five minutes, we will be heading up. But otherwise, we are quite safe because this resistance has been strong and we are forming an ascending wedge. It means that buyers are buying at a higher price and that's not a good thing. When buyers are buying at a higher price, you want to see sellers also selling at a higher price. But in this case, the sellers are holding the resistance, which means that the buyers are getting exhausted. And it comes to a point where they will start to flush down like this. And that's exactly what happened. So I detail my analysis and trades in the Discord server and try to build a structure for members. And I also share all my trades and detail them for analysis so that we can learn to trade better. Now with the background information out of the way, let me show you what this secret indicator is. Now when I took the trade here, I set my stop loss to be $35 per contract. Now a $35 per contract stop loss would mean it will be about a 70 point based on a 0 0.5 delta. And that means that the stop loss will be $35 per contract right at this point. Now my profit targets, the first profit target I always have is when the chart is two times of my risk. Now this stop loss is also known as your risk and this profit target is known as your reward. So that will always be my first profit target if possible. My next profit target will be this major pink support right here. And third profit target if possible will be this orange critical support which we saw the low of day happened. And lastly, if it continues to head down, it will be into this demand zone here. Now, unlikely the chart will go past the demand zone because this was a very strong demand zone. And as you can see how uh, the chart, of course, went around the demand zone and thereafter went up 12 points in 30 minutes from the demand zone. Now, once you create your risk reward profile like this, you're able to know when to take the trade. You're able to know where to set your stop loss and you're able to know where possibly you want to take profits. 
And this is why having a structure is so important. And that's what we do in our Discord server. We need to develop a structure before you decide to take a trade. Once you have a structure, you can determine where your stop loss is based on the structure. Because right here, we were hoping for this yellow resistance to block away any potential buyers and for them to continue to head down. So obviously, this trade will be here with a stop loss above the yellow. I left some allowance here just in case of some uh, spill over or some stop hunting. Now, if you were taking the trade here, now your risk will be much higher, isn't it? So when you set how much you are going to lose, and in this case, I am just about to lose $35 per contract. I set this beforehand, always be in control of how much you want to lose. Then I will wait for a better entry before I take the trade with my expected profit targets right here. So if I were to chart out my risk reward ratio based on my trade, I took four contracts with a stop loss of $35 each. My first two contracts, I closed for $57.65 and therefore my risk reward ratio is 1.65. And which means that every dollar risk I take, I will make $1.65 in return. Now I took my first profits once it hit about this first profit target level here, which is one is to two. Now, I didn't get two times in return, but obviously because of my fill or also because of commissions. So there must be some slippage that you must allow for. And thereafter, I allowed the chart to head down before closing it at about 10.14 a.m. right here for $134 profit per contract. And that builds up my risk reward to 3.8 times. And therefore, for this trade, my risk reward ratio was 2.74. Now, the secret is this. People don't keep track of their risk reward ratio. And this is extremely, extremely important. Let me explain why. Now, my average risk reward ratio is one is to three times. Now, let's explain this in trading terms, what it really means. It means for every losing trade I take, I will lose $1. But for every winning trade I take, I will win $3. That's my average. Now, in this case, it means that I can have three losing trades and I just need one win in order to break even. And this is why even for days that I have two red trades, and two green trades, I still walk away with $110 with $800 capital. This is the reason why that even sometimes when I have more losing trades than winning trades, I still come out green. But let me show you one way how I can improve my risk reward from one is to three to one is to 60. 20 times increase in risk reward ratio. Now you know what this means, right? It means that I can take 60 losing trades and I just need to win once and I can break even. Now I will use the same trade to explain. I close two contracts here to take partial profits at a risk reward ratio of 1.65 times. Now I always tell members to take partial profits to protect your trade. And this is really very, very important. Now when the chart goes in the direction of the structure that you have placed. So previously, I have a stop loss right here. And the chart has already proved my structure to be right. And I close partial profits here. I will adjust my stops below this yellow now because this is no longer required. And I will protect my trade by making sure that I am at break even. So my stop has now reduced to just one dollar stop and to allow the runner to go. Now in this case, the runner was a great runner. I managed to close it about here and I made $134.
Now, in this case, my risk reward ratio for this trade, because I protected it with partial profits and I took the trade early, is 134 times. So if I were to average out this trade, I made a 1 is to 68 times risk reward ratio just on this one trade. And I want you to see the power of closing partial profits and the power of adjusting your stops. And this has been something I've been going through in all of my videos. Now, you know what this means, right? It means that I can take 68 red trades and I just need one green trade in order to break even. And this truly is the secret to never have a red day again. Now, sometimes the trade does not work out. I get stopped when I have bad adjustments. The chart just went back to the wrong direction. And if this is zero, for example, you can see how it will affect my risk reward ratio. So this is a very extreme number. It can be very high, it can be very low, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. It is a form of demonstration. But one thing for sure, it will never be a losing trade. And that's very important. So for my own indicator, I like to use an average figure like this, which is about 2.74 for this trade. For partial profit taking, my average is about 1 is to 10. But I try not to use indicators like this. I use the more conservative indicator. And for normal trades, my risk reward ratio is about 1 is to 3. Now, I will explain how to use this risk reward ratio later in this video. But first, how does this apply to trading? How can I use this risk reward ratio to make me into a better trader? Now, once you're able to understand this metric in your trading, you are able to set rules for yourself. So let's recap at this point. Now, it's very important that you are able to first identify a structure in play. Once you're able to identify a structure, you set an estimation of where you intend to take your trades. In this case, I decide to take puts right here. And I will decide my stop loss here. And I've predetermined that I want a $35 stop loss. And I plan my entry based on that stop loss right here. Now, this is the secret as well. You always must predetermine how much you're willing to lose. Now, remember in trading, even if you are going to lose, you are in control of how much you intend to lose. Don't go in like a gambling den without knowing where your bottom is. Always, always set an amount that you are in control of how much you are intending to lose. Now, once you have set your stop loss, you identify your possible profit targets. And in this case, my first profit targets must always be two times of my stop loss. And if I take a look at this structure, I was hoping that it would retest at least this point here where the low of day is. So I have more profits here. And thirdly, perhaps if all went well, this would be my ultimate home run here where it goes all the way to into the demand zone before it goes up, which happened exactly. Now, once you set this in motion, you take your trade. You take your trade based on how much stop loss you have determined. So this is the first thing you have to do and you must know. Build a structure, set your stop loss, know your risk reward profile. Only after this, then you decide to take the trade. Now, once you take the trade, if you manage to close partial profits, you adjust your stop loss and allow the trade to go stress-free. Now, how does this apply to your trading behavior? Now, because my average is one is to three, I will always make sure that whenever I have two red trades consecutively, I stop trading. I just stop because by the time I get to my third trade and if I lose, I would definitely have become red on that day itself. So I am quite careful with my trade and my first two trades must always be as green as possible. So I only enter them when I have very strong focus 
and where I have a very clear structure. But whenever I hit two red trades after that, I always stop. Even if I'm just making maybe $20, $30 profit for that small account, I stop after two red trades. And in the most recent example, I made $110 after I was stopped out twice, both with about 200 and another 100, I got stopped out for a total of $300. I actually made 400. And I just stopped after I made two red trades because I knew that I would probably wither this to zero because this is my behavior. This is my average. And you need to know yourself by keeping track of your risk reward ratio. Now I have a very simple Excel template in the link below to download for you to start keeping track of your risk reward ratio. I am also speaking with a software developer to try to come up with something that it's uh, more automated that you just have to upload your trade log and uh, thereafter it computes everything for you automatically. Uh, that may take some time, so please uh, download this uh, template first, leave your email address, and I will contact you when that software is actually ready. Now, if you pay attention to this metric, and if you follow the rules of this metric, and if you keep track of this metric, I can guarantee you will hardly, hardly have red days again. And even if you do, you will still turn out profitable in the long run because of understanding your own trading behavior. Trading is all about setting rules for yourself to follow. And often it's not the market that causes us to be losing money. We are the very perpetrators that caused it to happen. And having rules keeps us in control. So these are very important rules we must follow. So let me recap. You need to know your personal risk to reward ratio. And for beginners, I suggest one is to 1.5 or one is to two to start with for beginners. Now, once you have your personal risk reward ratio, you will understand that for every two losing trade in this case, you just need one winning trade in order to break even. Now, this has to be accumulated over time. Now, for your stop loss, which is your risk, this must always be predetermined. This is a number that you must be in control of. You cannot leave it open. You must always have a stop loss in place. This is crucial. This is very, very crucial. Always be in control, especially how much you are allowed to lose. Be in control. And in order for you to build a risk to reward profile, you need to have a structure in place. Now, having structure is the key to day trading as well. Now, structures can be built by understanding the behavior between buyers and sellers on the trading floor. Uh, they are helped when you have very good key levels to help you, uh, guide you on how the buyers and sellers may move along the trading floor and also candlestick patterns or what we call price action to try to understand the dynamics between buyers and sellers. Because on the trading floor, it's very simple. It's just a dynamics between buying and selling. Buyers want to buy at a lower price Sellers want to sell at a higher price and therefore it creates this thing called imbalance. What we are trying to do on the trading floor is try to find balance. And balance can be seen based on all these candles right here. The reason we trade SPY is because SPY is less likely subjected to manipulation because of the very high trading volumes and also at the high price. If a whale wants to come in and manipulate SPY, they need to probably spend billions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars just to push a candle. And that itself is risky because there are so many retail traders around to counteract what they want to do. So it's not that easily manipulated for SPY. Now, so once you set your risk profile like this, you're able to understand your risk reward ratio. Now, build your risk-reward ratio and enhance your risk-reward ratio by taking partial profits. I have videos talking about this all the time and I've put some links in the description below. Once you are able to have more trades and be able to understand your risk-reward ratio, for my case, one is to three, you can set rules for yourself. In this case, for every two rate trades, I stop trading.
try to build this up as much as possible and this is very important once you are able to build this up uh, you will trade so much better so i hope this video has helped you and do give it a try uh, download the template below try it out for yourself i can tell you this is one of uh, my biggest reasons why i hardly have red days because i set rules for myself and I have a very good risk reward ratio and I'm always looking to build upon it and it gives me confidence and I guess at the end of the day trading is all about building confidence as well. So having a metric and building that metric up will build your confidence. Uh, this risk reward metric will also protect your downside. So even if you are making thousands of dollars on a day like SPY like this, uh, but on the next day if it chops you up, uh, you are always protected even when spy chops you up the next day like this uh, you are always protected because you will lose less than you win in the long run and that's exactly what trading is supposed to be so thank you for watching and the links are all in the description uh, feel free to reach out if you need any help uh, join our discord server as well and the discord once again i run through all the structure it will just help you become a better trader as i run through the day's analysis and try to build structure along the way helps you understand price action better helps you understand candlestick charts better and that's how we improve on a consistently regular basis that's the only way to improve so thank you very much again for watching and see you in the next video